Hey guys, what's up? It is Hearthstone Noob here. I am back, and we are going to jump back into the arena for more of this super awesome Druid Arena action. Uh, as you can see, we're 1-0 and zero right now. I hope you guys watched the first game. I hope you watched where I did the draft. And we're just going to dive right into it. You know? <sighs> so this has been uh, kind of an interesting deck to play with in that first game. Um, I thought it might be a little spell heavy. I think it is, but it worked out kind of well in the first game. So we'll see how it does in the second game. I'm not really sure how it's going to work out. And we're up against another druid. So we'll see. Uh, for those of you... Oh, so nice name, Joe Brown. Um, for those of you guys who don't know, I am a big fan of... Uh, or rather, for me, I evaluate success as going 3-3. Um, three and three. Um, You know, that's just the way that I look at it. Uh, I don't need to go... Um, I don't need to go like seven and three or eight and three every time I open up the arena to consider it a successful run. Uh, I just think that that's a lot, and I'm pretty new to the arena. Um, you know, it's it's something that I haven't played with a lot. So for me, going two and three, um, or three, or, well, three and three. I don't like to go two and three, but going three and three, you know, just breaking even. That's good enough for me for now until I get a little bit more experience in the arena. Uh, you know, spend some more time with it, but um. I know that a lot of you guys probably evaluate yourselves a little more harshly, so I can appreciate that. But any hoozles. So, um, solid opening hand, solid opening play. Um, you know, you can see him struggling just a little bit, going for two damage to the face to this thing. No, you can't do that, bro. Did he make a mistake there? Is he gonna have to coin into a wrath? No, doesn't look like it. Okay. He's going to attack that thing, which is weird. That's a weird decision. This felt like a big mistake. Like, this whole thing just felt like kind of a weird mistake. Um, I don't know why he did that, but uh, screw it. I'm not going to question it. Uh, I am going to play two creatures. I don't see him having a weapon since druids don't have any weapons. So I feel pretty comfortable playing Bloodsail Corsair. Um, and we'll see what he plays. I mean, he's got three mana now. If he's got an innervate like I do, he can drop something a little bit bigger. We'll see if that's the case. I do have a naturalize in my hand, if that's how he wants to play it. But, um... No, playing a 2-2, two, two, which is not a big deal. Um, uh, I can pretty easily kill that myself. Um, let's see what he does here. He gets getting a mana back. He's probably gonna armor up. Probably attack that there, if I had to guess. Which, I don't know, he's not. Um, hmm. Hmm, I say. So I think my best move is... This deals one damage, right? Yeah. Is to... Hmm. Oh, wait, you know what? I don't even have to do that. Because doing this to this... Oh, wait, yeah, I do. Unless I do that to that, but that just seems like a waste. Hmm. Now when that thing dies, it's going to deal one damage to every creature I have. That's... That's a little harsh. Um, this is kind of a misplayed turn. Don't think I handled any of that particularly well, but fuck it. Um, guess Judge Joe Brown here is going to screw me up now. If I were in his shoes, um, you know, I mean, this is an easy thing to kill, but at the same time, it's going to do one damage. So wasting resources to kill it when the payoff is going to be, oh, it does one damage to this, I'm not sure if that's his best bet right now. Okay, he's got the 1-7 with taunt. That's not hard to get past, let's just be really honest. Um, easy, weak, everything gets a little weaker here. Um, he's got 5 health, so I could do, I could do this, and this, power up and that. And still be in a pretty good place. So yeah, I think that, I think that was good. Didn't have to use up my naturalize. He does have a massive amount of card advantage, though. So I've spent a lot of the cards in my deck already trying to get through him. We'll see how that w kind of rounds out for him. Because right now, uh, you know, this is this is not... I mean, I've got a strong hand right now. Can freeze a creature, can kill a creature. Which I think I might take advantage of right now, actually. Let him draw into some cards. Let's see what I get. Oh, uh, maybe not. Oh, wait, I can't play that yet. So, maybe so. Um, hmm... Yeah, I think my best bet is to naturalize that and just kind of keep rolling. We 
would be surprised if I got the thank you emote from him, because that's just what people do nowadays. If he plays a big creature, um, I might be able to deal with it anyway, since I've got five damage on the board, I'm going to get an extra two from powering those guys up. So, you know, I'm not necessarily that worried. Um, a swipe would be a pain, because he could get rid of something to do a little bit of damage, but that would also leave him pretty much tapped out mana-wise. So, I don't know. I think I'm still in a pretty good place. Got a 3-3 three, three and a 2-4 on the board. That's not bad. Um, that thing's going to be... Yeah, that thing's going to have a lot of health, uh, which is super annoying, because it does have enough... Um, it does have enough health... Or, uh, I'm sorry, attack to be a pain in the ass. Uh, and he drops that thing, too. Lovely. Hmm. Alright, does this get plus one, plus one? It does get plus one. Uh, though, at that... Ooh, interesting development. Um, gotta kind of think of what I want to do now. So that thing has four. So, if I play this, I can kill that thing with both of them, but then leave his 4-3 on the field, and I'll have a weakened... I'll have like a 3-1 and a 6-6. Six, six. I don't know. I don't know how I feel. But then next turn I'll have six or five damage. Eh. eh, I think this is okay. I think it's kind of my best move at the moment is to drop this. Okay. Kill both. Kill throw both of you guys back, you guys. You just four three on the field. I don't love it. I'm not loving this at all. But, um, you know, it's kind of better than what I was on before. I think I blew that naturalize a little early, to be honest. I don't think that was the best use of it. Um, a swipe here would be really good. Oh, nope. Lord of the Arena. Actually, that's awesome for me, because I can starfire that thing, and then he basically wasted turn playing it. That's super annoying, though. So, yeah, he'll do that. Let's see what he does. I'm sorry, nope. That would be too convenient. So... So the problem here is I can Starfire that thing to kill it, no problem. Uh, I can Power Up, kill that thing, no problem. But that, well, actually, yeah, I think I'll just wipe the board a little bit here. That thing dies. Power Up, that thing dies. That thing dies. Now neither of us has anything. Which I don't know how I feel about that. Um, you know, I don't love clearing the board like that, to be honest. It kind of hurts, because... Now, if he has, you know, a um, anything, if he has an eight drop or a seven drop, I'm it, it's it's going to an empty board, and then I have to deal with it. So it can be annoying. I do have a freeze though. Oh, that's boring. That's less boring. Both enrage monsters. Hmm. Super interesting. Um. Let's see what I get. Uh. It's not super useful right now. So I think what I'm going to do is freeze that one because it's scarier in my opinion. Attack into the face because I can. So that thing at least is silent for a turn. He's got that enrage monster there, which would be a stupid attack to make, but I don't know if he'll make it. Um, the big problem will be if he can get rid of this without throwing either of his creatures at it. Um... Oh, no, he's just going to play another tiny thing. Oh, boy. Alright, so he's got some board control at this point, which I kind of have to think about. I do have to worry about it just a, just a little bit. Um, so I think my best move is to... Ooh, that changes the game. So, my best move now is to use a combination of Swipe and my Charge Druid to wipe his board, except for his little gargoyle thing, because I don't care about that. Um, yeah, for sure. So, what's the best way to do this? I think attacking that thing, swiping that one, and then Charge t Taunting, yeah. Okay, so we'll kill that thing, boom. We'll kill that thing. Um, and we'll kill that thing. Boom. Now he's got a 1-3, one, 1-4, one, I'm sorry. Um, and I've got a 5-5 five, five that heals me a lot, and uh, I can drop that next turn. 
That's super annoying, though. Not gonna lie. I mean, I can kill it, but god, that sucks. So I, I think my best bet, though, is to kill it. Um, ooh, he might do that, though. That would actually be a really good idea for him. Yeah, he's gonna do that. Because then he's... No, wait, maybe he's not. No, he's not. That was stupid. I wonder if he thought about that super hard. Huh. Okay. Well, we're gonna drop that. And then kill this thing. Yeah, that's easy. Drop my Ogre Magi, get some man or get an attack power. Bam. So that was that's a good way to swing the board. He made a big play mistake. He should have taken the four damage. Then I wouldn't have been able to kill his iron bark protector. That was a weird decision on his part. Um, but there's still a lot of game left. He's still got a lot of health, which means that's uh, you know a lot of opportunities to draw it into something more useful. Doesn't look like he's getting it though. Um, but I don't know what that card in his hand is. We'll see. Uh, he's still going for face. What a weird. I mean, at this point, nah. I mean, I, I still do something. I mean, he could he could do one attack against that. Uh, that's a useless card right now. Um. Yeah, he could do one attack against this thing and weaken it up a little bit, but he's not, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna dissect it anymore. So that thing dies. He takes a bunch of damage to this. So as long as I can keep clearing his board, um, I'm not that concerned about it. Twilight Drake, that was a terrible time to Ooh, that's sort of annoying. The question is, what is that card he's sitting on? He's been sitting on that one card for a while. I wonder if it's a Savage Roar, and he's he's just waiting until he has some creatures to, to stock into it. That might be a thing. Um, all right, well, let's put on the pressure. So we'll drop Twilight Drake, two mat, or er, four, three, and then we'll drop this. Give everything plus one, plus one, boom. I'm up myself. You take all the time you want, huh, chat? Now you got a lot of creatures facing you down, and as far as I know, Drew does, Druids don't have any board wipes. Uh, you got Star Fire or something, something Star, I think, that can drop a bunch of two two damage on everything. Ooh, that's annoying. That was pretty good, not gonna lie. Good use of that card. Uh, he can't quite wipe the board, but that does help a lot. Um, ooh, and that helps even more. What a good play. That's actually very, very nice. For him, because now the thing's a friggin' 3-7. God, that's scary. So, the question is, what is he going to do with his the creatures he has? Because this is kind of... Well, that's, that's an easy okay. Can he... I don't think he can... Can he attack with that thing? I don't think he can. Just, uh, no, going for face again. Alright. So, um, that's annoying. But because I'm sitting on a heal... Uh, we're just going to actually drop this as is. Um, where that one soon? So, this is the tough choice I have to make. I can throw both of those guys at him. That's kind of, I mean, then we're top decking, and I'm okay with that. So, I mean, I kind of just have to do this. That thing needs to die. And he's got a lot less health than me. So, it's all going to come down to who gets the better top deck now. Um, which isn't a game I particularly like to play. Uh, I knew it was a creature buff of some kind. Oh, no, he gets a Murloc Scout. Gods be scared. Uh, he's still going to go for face. I wonder if he's going to go for face with this thing. That'd be stupid. Actually, I guess it really wouldn't. Uh, okay. That was kind of dumb. So, we'll just do this. We'll do that. Good. Um... I don't really want him to do anything with that. Uh, I'll play the heal bot. I don't know if that was a great decision. Oh boy. Alright. So let's see what he kills. Um... He could actually pretty much wipe the board with that play. Uh, not quite. I mean, he could he could kill that with his charge. He could kill that with his rage move there. 
And then I'm I'm left with this one trick. Oh my god, what is this guy doing? I honestly don't know. I don't know what this guy is thinking. I don't know why he's attacking me. Uh, okay. Whatever. I don't know what to think. I almost just wonder if he's like a botter or something. It's such a weird decision to make. Alright, whatever. He's got an 8 8 to deal with now. So that's game. Well you can't attack me! Jesus Christ, man. Alright, let's just let's end this. Weird match. But he wants to attack me every time. I'm, I'm convinced this is a botter. Uh, anyway, game over. Sorry, Joe Brown. Um, so there's game two. Picking up another W, though last time I went... Two wins and then three straight losses. So hopefully that doesn't happen again. This deck is kind of feeling pretty, pretty decent. A lot of board control, a lot of, a lot of good stuff. Um, I look forward to the next game. I uh, hope you guys will join me for the rest of the series. Uh, the new season is going to be starting again, or starting soon, which means that whole new season will be climbing to legend. I think I'm going to make a thing out of the next season, climbing to legend and making waves. Uh, anyway, so that's that sums up this video. I hope you guys will join me for the next ones. Uh, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. I always appreciate the feedback. And if you guys have any suggestions of stuff you'd like to see in the future, please let me know. I always get like the hiccups right at the end of these videos. I sound like I'm like, I have some kind of strange lung disease. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you guys next time and I'm going to go before the hiccups begin again.